Good morning, modern setters. In today's video, we're going to build this chick brooder that's designed to be Figaro proof so he doesn't eat our chicks. We're going to be using one sheet of half inch plywood. We're going to be using four one by four by eight foot long pieces of pine to make our door frames. We're going to be using one roll of hardware cloth. If you built the $30 chicken coop, you should have some leftover chicken wire to use instead of the hardware cloth. We're using hardware cloth. So that way, if Figaro gets up there, we don't have to worry about him getting a foot stuck in the chicken wire and it holds him. We know this guy is going to be up here all the time once the chicks are in here. Yep, that's where you're going to be sitting. He's going to be sitting there staring at the chicks and guess what? You're not going to be able to get him, mister. Nope, you won't. That's going to be his perch, I bet you. If we can get this video to a thousand thumbs up, I'm going to share my written directions and cut list for everything you're going to need and how to make it. For tools, you're going to need a circular saw and a drill. You're going to want some kind of plastic container that's going to make sense to you later on in the video. We're using a half inch chisel, a hammer, tape measure, either a staple gun with staples or hand staples and a hammer. You can use a chalk line or a T-square. set the depth of our skill saw so we're just cutting through the plywood now that we have our piece marked at 23 and 7 8 and we got a good line to go by we're going to rip it down I'm going to repeat that process three more times Now that we've got our plywood cut into four equal strips, we want to lay them on top of each other and flush up all the edges. Once I have all my pieces lined up and squared up, I'm just going to throw two clamps on them so they don't move. Now I want to put a mark at two inches and two and a half inches. I want it to go up a foot. We want to set our depth on our skill star again, this time so it'll go through all four sheets. Now we're going to take our half inch chisel, put it on our foot mark. Now that we have our 
four pieces cut and notch. That's the main base of the chick brooder. Locks in place simply. Just look at this guy. He's into everything. Oh no, we scared him. You okay? He gets into everything. Yeah, you. Gina, I'm setting the SAR up inside today. It's too cold and windy out. It's supposed to be 20 below zero with the wind chill. Now we need to take two of our one by four eight foot long sections and cut four pieces that are four feet long with 45s on each end. Now that we have our four four foot pieces cut, we need to cut four two foot pieces out of our last one by four. This next step, I'm using hardware cloth. If you built the $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes, you'll have some leftover chicken wire. I'd be using our leftover chicken wire, but I think this will hold up better to figure out. If you don't know what I'm talking about with the $30 chicken coop we built in 30 minutes, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. I want to roll out and cut two lengths that are 46 inches long. When you let go, it's going to want to spring up. It has a memory to it. Best way to resolve that issue is take it and open it up. Lay it down. And then bend it backwards, flexing it. And you just kind of want to roll it. And that gets the bounce out of it. If there's still a couple of spots that aren't laying completely flat, just tweak them. You're gonna need your stapler or your staples and some glue. nice and tight.
first one's done. All right, I'm just gonna repeat the same process for this one, and I'll come back as soon as we're done. The last one's all assembled, same way as the first one. That's how it's gonna sit. Now we need some hinges. You can go to the store and buy a set of hinges if you want. Well, we're gonna make some out of a plastic jug. I'm using a windshield washer jug, use a shampoo bottle, a laundry detergent bottle. Oh, you're wondering what this is? This is the large soil block maker we made that'll fit our medium ones. If you haven't seen the video of us making that, I'll put a link to that video right here. But we're gonna cut up this water jug. These cuts don't need to be neat. We're just trying to get this apart so we can get some nice hinges out of it. All right, now we can lay it flat. I'm going to take them and fold them in half. It's your hinge. Then you're going to want to drill out three holes on each side of your hinges. If you want, you can use just two hinges. I'm using four because we have them and the didn't cost us anything extra. I'm gonna be using 24 pan head screws. You're either gonna want them half inch long or three quarters of an inch. I gotta do one more thing. There's a few different ways you could secure this, but we wanna be able to take this apart take everything apart, stack it together, and lean it in a corner somewhere. So I'll be drilling out some 3 16 holes, and we have some duplex nails left over from when we built our $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes. So we're gonna be using those here. And because we have a crazy mischiefy cat, I'm putting a hook and latch on it to keep him out. But the duplex nails keep it, it's locked in place. You can't push it off. One last thing I wanted to share with you, when you're putting it together and deciding what is the front, if you're going to put a latch on it because you don't want somebody to be able to open it, make sure that this board on the side has the notch on the bottom. So that way it can't get pulled up and out. If the notch was up top like the side is, you could just pull and slide the whole thing out. All right, there it is. A chick brooder that's strong enough to keep Figaro out. We were able to build it with hardware cloth, couple of one by fours and one sheet of plywood. Little over 30 bucks to build it. 
and the chicks are gonna do awesome in it. I'm excited, we're gonna be getting our chicks soon. We have Easter egg layers coming, but they're not the typical Americana. They're a different breed, and they, and they lay around 265 or 280 eggs a year. So that's very good production for an Easter egg. And then we're getting another breed coming up that's supposed to be very hardy, lay a lot of big, large eggs. Like I was saying earlier, when this video reaches a thousand thumbs up, I'm going to put the written directions and a cut list on our website at lumnaacres.com. So share the video. We've got a new chick water, chick feeder, and brooder light. These are new to the market. I think this will be the first time you get to see them, I believe. I'm excited for them tomorrow. We're going to set it up so we can use them and get them all to work perfectly with our chick brooder. I'm excited for that. Now is a perfect time to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos we upload. If you hit the little bell button while you're down there, that turns on notifications and YouTube will send you a notification every time we upload a video, go live, or post something on our community tab. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.